Hey guys, it's Maggie and I'm back today with a video I've been thinking about for quite some time and it's going off of the feeling I had when I first got my ostomy. I laugh at it now, <laughs> but I felt very gross with an ostomy. Um, I felt just like everybody in the room was staring at me. They knew I had it. And looking back, I know that that's not the case at all, but that's how I felt. I just worried so much about how other people in the room would perceive a person that essentially goes to the bathroom in a bag on their stomach. Now it's true, us with ostomies have a little more face-to-face -face interaction with our internal organs and our bowel movements, but what I actually found over time is that my ostomy made me feel less gross. Just like a little monarch caterpillar turns into a chrysalis and then a butterfly, my Crohn's disease made me feel like a caterpillar, like trapped. I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't do much. And once I got my ostomy, it's like I gained my wings and I was able to live life again. Ostomy surgery was my version of turning into a butterfly. I would like to make a note that that butterfly is still drying its wings. It just hatched this morning and was so kind to be in this video, um, but it's gonna be released later today when its wings are all dried out. I've been raising monarch butterflies since they have been added to the endangered species list. That butterfly will be in nature very soon. It definitely took time to get to that butterfly stage. So in this video, I am going to talk about some of the ways that I adjusted and I gained my confidence with an ostomy. And I wanna thank Convitec, the sponsor of this video. They just expanded their Ascenta line to include a lubricating deodorant, which is one of the things over the years that I have used pretty consistently to feel confident with my ostomy bag. Over the years, a major concern of mine has been odor coming from my ostomy, particularly when I empty it. So this product actually tackles that as well as tackling an issue that's been a little bit more recent for me. I talked about my output being a little bit looser as of late, and because of that, when I try to manage the loose output, sometimes I accidentally go too far the wrong way and my output is too thick. The problem that I've been having with that is pancaking, meaning that the output kind of gets stuck at the top of the ostomy bag right around my stoma. And I would say probably 90% of my leaks are because of that issue. The Ascenta lubricating deodorizer kind of tackles both of those issues, odor and the pancaking problem that I have because it helps allow your output to go to the bottom of the bag, it kind of slides down the bag. It makes it much easier to empty, which I absolutely love because I don't like having difficulty emptying my ostomy bag. For anyone interested, Convitec is offering a free sample to anybody who wants one, so I'll put that link in the description below. But further in this video, I'm going to talk more about the odor and the leaking issues that I've had and how I've been able to combat them. Thank you to Convitec for sponsoring this video and let's get into one of the most major things that I had an issue with pretty much from day one of having my ostomy. I know that a lot of people have this concern uh, before surgery and after surgery because I've heard from many people that have this concern. Um, I've heard your stories and your worries about it and that is people being able to see your ostomy through clothing or not through clothing. And that's exactly what I feared after surgery. Um, I was so worried that people would be able to see it. And I thought, well, the only solution to that is to wear big baggy long clothes. And honestly, where's the fun in that? It took me quite a bit of time to realize that a full ostomy bag to the untrained eye, it could be anything. It could literally be anything. And what I also learned over the years is that most people are preoccupied with the worry that other people are judging them. So when you walk into a room with a full ostomy bag and you're worried that Betty Sue in the corner is gonna say something, Betty Sue is probably sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, I hope nobody knows that I ate that much garlic for lunch or that I spilled it down the front of my shirt. They're probably also worried about what you're thinking of them because everybody's got something going on. Once I realized this, I became so much more comfortable with an ostomy, whether it was completely empty and you really couldn't tell or 
when it was full and I know that I could tell I knew it was full but probably nobody else realized they probably thought I had something under my shirt I had a fanny pack who knows and of course over time as I built relationships with people like my husband my closest friends I got to the point where I was more and more comfortable to say things like hey my ostomy bag is full I gotta go take care of it another fear that I had after surgery was the amount of time that I would spend in the bathroom managing my ostomy. When you go to the bathroom for a long time, people tend to assume what you're doing in there, and I really feared that. I, I was really worried about that because I assumed that ostomy care was gonna take a lot of time out of my day, you know, putting on a new ostomy pouch, emptying it, all the things that go with caring for it. Yeah, I found the exact opposite to be true. Um, before surgery, I would spend a lot of time in the bathroom, pretty much from the time I got home until I went to bed. A good portion of that was spent in the bathroom because I was struggling with my Crohn's disease, and I think a lot of you guys can relate to that. Um, after surgery, <laughs> That cut down quite a bit. I spent a fraction of the time in the bathroom. In fact, I spend less time in the bathroom than the average person, the average healthy person who has the regular setup. Um, and, you know, I know that because I live with a healthy, regularly set up person and I know how much time he spends in the bathroom. I know how much time I spend in the bathroom. I win. <laughs> But yes, I spend far less time in the bathroom than I did prior to surgery and compared to healthy people, still less time. And so I'm very quick in there. It's in and out for me, especially if I'm just emptying the bag. But if I'm doing a complete appliance change, maybe five minutes, maybe? And I only do that every like three to five days. So yeah, it's been a real time saver having an ostomy, to be honest. Like I said before, odor was also a big concern for me. Uh, it took me a little while to realize this. When you have looser output, yeah, after you empty, sometimes it's a little rough. But you should also know that healthy people with a regular setup have this issue too. And once I found deodorizers, I realized, Oh wait, I can kind of cheat with this before any odor even touches the air. I can get on top of it. People with colons can't do that. I love it because I use Convitex Ascenta Lubricating Deodorizer and you don't know that I just went to the bathroom. Nobody knows. It leaves it very fresh scented and I love it. Even Zach is like, I wish that there was something for me <laughs> that I could use as a person without an ostomy, and I'm like, that would be pretty cool, but you know, gotta join the club, I guess. Also a problem that many ostomy patients face are leaks, and it is something that happens. It happens to everybody with a stoma, and it's something that over time you learn how to manage and make it through the other side, but what I've learned to do over time, it's taken a long time to adapt to this, but I've learned to prevent leaks if possible, do all the things that I can to make sure that they don't happen, but when they do happen, make sure I'm prepared. Because even after a very long time with having an ostomy, I have had my ostomy bag completely fall off in a restaurant and I didn't bring any supplies with me. So that was a really good reminder of why we bring supplies. And finally, when it comes to experiencing a leak, especially a bad leak in public, just be honest with the people around you. Don't try to hide it. Don't try to make up a story. When this happens to me, I just explain, I have an ostomy bag, it's how I go to the bathroom, and I just experienced a leak. So I'm going to excuse myself to the restroom or to the car, maybe I need a change of clothes. I'm gonna excuse myself and take care of this, and I will be right back. And usually if I don't treat it like a big deal, others don't either. That's how I've learned to handle it over time. With the issues I've been having with my output being a bit thinner, um, I have mentioned in previous videos that I take certain medications and I eat certain foods to try and slow me down a bit. But I do have it sometimes where I 
do that a little too well and then my output gets very thick and it kind of like sticks at the top of the bag which makes it a little bit more noticeable under my clothes so again with the lubricating deodorizer that has helped to kind of prevent leaks from thick output which I just I have and sometimes I don't know when it's coming which is why I love the two-in-one product because I'm using it anyway for deodorizer so it's already in place ready to help me if I start to have thick output and when my ostomy bag fell off in a restaurant it was exactly because of this reason and <sighs> we live and we learn don't we it is not lost on me that ostomy surgery is a physical and an emotional adjustment that doesn't happen overnight like with the butterfly when it goes into its chrysalis um, it's it's got to turn into that pile of goo before it becomes a beautiful butterfly and that takes a while uh, and that is definitely what happened to me after surgery because uh, I remember three months after my surgery begging my surgeon. I was like, all right, when can we do it? When can we reverse this thing? Uh, I, I don't want it anymore. And then the six month mark came along and I said, all right, well, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Like a year, two years, when are we going to reverse this? And then at the year mark post-op appointment, I wasn't talking about reversal anymore. I was talking about all the things I was doing now, you know, playing soccer, uh, doing well in school, sharing my story online and gaining weight, being able to eat food again. That's what I started to talk about. It wasn't all about getting rid of this ostomy bag. During that year, I learned that I wasn't stuck in the bathroom anymore. I wasn't living in there. I learned that I felt so much better because of my ostomy and all the things that kind of made me feel icky and gross with Crohn's disease before surgery were gone because of the ostomy. And I think that there's this stigma around ostomies, you know, oh, they're gross. Um, you're dealing with your bowel movements. Yeah, okay, we deal with our bowel movements it's not gross though. It's completely contained within medical plastic and it makes people feel so much better and be able to live their lives. At that year mark appointment, I realized how proud I was of myself for how far I'd come from saying, man, I need to get rid of this thing in like three months. We got to do this surgery as soon as possible to realizing how much good my stoma had done me. It made me feel like a functioning human being whose life wasn't completely revolving around her bowel movements like they were before surgery. Hopefully this video is helpful to those of you who are either facing ostomy surgery, maybe you just had it, or maybe you are years out from ostomy surgery and you're still struggling to find your footing with caring for it. Um, I really hope that it reaches that audience. Thank you again to Convitec for sponsoring this video. Make sure to get your free sample in the description below, and I will see you guys in the next. Bye.